Hey guys, it's Arizona Mario here. Welcome back to Let's Play Fall Night Vegas. In the last episode, we did some holy giant mega shit. We killed Mr. House. Sort of spoiling the last episode, but to be fair, you shouldn't be watching an episode that's like 50 episodes in. And then be like, okay, I don't want spoilers. Anyway. So now that we've killed Mr. House, we have the platinum chip. We will now return to Yes Man. And I might burp in a second. <coughs> oh, I'm very, I apologize. I'm very sorry, but it was a victory burp, so you know. I hope you have tea and biscuits ready. Anyway. Oh, hi again. Hi. Can I help you with something else? You can indeed. Uh, I'm ready for you to join me at the Lucky 38. Mr. House is out of the picture, and you have the platinum chip. Wonderful. Let's go. Yeah, go, 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 go. Yes, man. Man, I wish you could ride. Yes, man. I love how they they roll along, kind of like uh, clap traps in Borderland. You know what I mean? They do that kind of like dance. I suppose that's how they do it, uh, with the forward momentum with one wheel. You know what? I am just realizing now how much uh, security ones are like claptraps. If you guys don't know what claptraps are, they're from Borderlands. Hand it back on it. Maybe you'll find out one day. Anyway. Not a hint or anything. Uh, I believe we want to go up to the penthouse again, and we should be all fine. Supposedly. I mean, they didn't know that I killed him. I was invisible that whole time. Oh. Is this cutscene? Yes, it is. Huh. Hi! This is big, huh? He's just looking around like, oh, this is pretty big. big. moment. Here goes. I'll just take that platinum chip off your hands. Thanks. Wish me luck. Uh, good luck. Good thing I've waited to explode! No, I'm... Don't do that. Maybe you can. He killed himself. But now... Wow. Mr. House had quite a setup here. I can access his databanks and view telemetry on every Securitron on the network. Oh my Wait. god. So... That's what the Platinum Chip does. Interesting. Mr. House had a whole demonstration planned for you. Just head downstairs to the lowest level to check it out. You'll see. Okay then. I guess it's sending us down there? Here it is. Well, well. We're gonna see exactly what the platinum chip is. Step closer to the demonstration area, please. Okay, so you're familiar with Securitrons by now, obviously. I mean, some of your best friends are Securitrons, right? <laughs> yes, man, you talk, you fuck. Our alloy has, and does a good job for protecting our delicate electronic insides from small arms firing and shrapnel. Our left arm contains an X-25 Gatling laser, quite deadly against on targets of medium range. That looks like fun. <laughs> and for close range suppression and crowd control, we have this handy dandy 9mm submachine gun. Nice. Nice, yeah. All of this is old hat, right? Yeah, I guess. Here is where it gets interesting. Turns out that those are our secondary weapons. What? All this time we've been running the Mark I operating system which doesn't have drivers for our primary weapons. Imagine! There's someone there as well. Now watch this. I'm downloading the Mark II OS to all Securitrons on the network. It makes quite a difference. Okay. Oh, they turned red. The They're Mark II. Missile launcher, we can engage whoa, 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 whoa. And a rapid fire G28 deadly in close range engagement. Rapid fire grenade Where launches. Look at that. Wow. The OS upgrade also includes drivers for our onboard auto repair systems. Just try to hurt us now. <laughs> Altogether, this software upgrade confers a 235% increase in combat effectiveness. I'm wringing my hands Our menacingly. <laughs> I, I invite you guys to join me in fact. New Vegas finally has soldiers worthy <laughs> of protecting it. I'm glad they're on our side. You can come back up and see me or be on your way. I know you're a busy person. Wow, that's a lot of XP. Jesus. Wow. <laughs> Alright, considering we leveled up, um, I guess we'll go. Um. More medicine, I think. Uh, cause we might get fucked up. Um, 
ba. Uh, uh, sorry, I'm kind of just I'm trying to think here. Maybe more. Like medicine is what we're really gonna need. Yeah, I'm just gonna boost it up because I mean, really, I don't use any of this other stuff. So, cool, cool, cool. And uh, let's see what the new ones are. Uh, weapon handling. Weapon strength requirements are now two points lower than normal. If you, ooh, that could be quite handy. Maybe. Um, Tag back slaves, select a fourth skill to be his tag skill, which instantly raises it by 15 points. What? Wait. So. Oh my god. I get to give something an, an extra 15 points. Do I want to give it to medicine? So can I do that? Maybe not. Uh, I don't know, geez. Uh. I know, science, yeah, that's perfect. Now I got 55 science for no reason. Great, that's. <laughs> I. Alright, don't show it on the bear, I know what that is. That's actually a, a warning mission to not screw around with. Okay, and that one is also. Okay, so don't show it on the bear is don't fuck around with the NCR, and beware of Caesar is don't fuck around with Caesar. Like, this is your last warning, kind of. But uh, considering we're gonna fuck up over everyone, I don't really care. An entire army of upgraded Securitrons just standing by over at the fort. Pretty neat, huh? Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, you're gone. Uh, so I should ask these tribes for their support in Independent Vegas? Oh no, I didn't mean that. Who needs their support? The Securitrons will be all the support you need. <laughs> what I meant is... You should get to know these tribes and decide which ones you like and which you don't. Well, I think you I've know, already decided. Shape the future of Vegas. Choose your neighbors. If you like a tribe, leave it alone. Or, if a tribe is nasty or going to be a problem, go ahead and exterminate it. It's whatever you want to do. Well, I have something in mind for which ones. Uh, Come back late. Particularly tribes he's talking about are the NCR and Caesar's Legion. We all know how I feel about both of those two. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So then. Big stuff once again happened in this episode. Oh, wow. So, exactly where do we need to go next, you might be asking? Well, I do believe... Uh, we don't want to be doing that. Don't want to do that. We want... Wild card is basically the missions that we're doing right now. The Yes Man missions. So, let's see. Make contact with the Brotherhood of Steel. Oh, wait, is that really what we want to do? Inform yes, man, that you fixed the White Glove Society's cannibalism problem. Tell yes, man, that you visited Gamora and was... Oh, Jesus. Do I need to do that? I'm not sure if I do, really. Um, oh, my papa. And all these missions that I probably won't end up doing. I do apologize, but, like, this is not a game where you can do every single mission, if you couldn't already tell. Particularly these two. Um, these two here. Pretty much they say the exact same thing. Um, yeah. So I'm pretty sure that's what we need to do. So we need to go make contact with the Brotherhood of Steel. Uh, people that we have not met as of yet. Uh, even if you don't know much about the uh, Fallout universe, you might recognize who the Brotherhood of Steel are uh, purely by what they look like. So we'll be heading towards there. Now, where is exactly there? I think. Oh! You know what? Oh, that's a shame. Okay, the NCR are not too happy with me in general. I, I actually, uh, one of my great journeys across uh, the Mojave uh, off camera, I did go there once. And then I. Whoa! Easy there, pal. Meow! Meow! Where are my partners? Where are my partners, in fact? Uh... Boon? Rex? Guys? Where are you? Don't tell me they're back at the presidential suite. You, oh my god, I think they had to, like, not follow me downstairs and they'll put off. Oh gosh. Anyway, I guess this will pretty much do it for this episode of New Vegas. I'll go and get my my companions, my pals, my chums, and I'll meet you back roughly around where the uh, the Brotherhood of Steel are located. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.